Welcome, Zodiac. Doing the Pet Lovers Read. This is a weekly read I like to put out on the weekend. Or use the heart spread to read uh, for pet lovers. Uh, looking at the relationship of you and the pet that's on your mind and in your heart. Same as the heart spread usually. Just normally if we're looking at a person. I uh, just finished heart spreads for the week, if uh, you're interested, by the way, um, speaking of, I'm a little bit different, where instead of reading for the person that's on your mind, because it's, first of all, the heart spreads we see here, um, <clears throat> I'm reading for our own relationship with love and, and relationship and romance, so um, it's an interesting week, just finished all of them today, so all signs are up for that one, guys, now here, <clears throat> I've already shuffled. We're using the Gilded Tarot Royale to mention the uh, body that cares. Um, so this is going to end up in the shape of a heart. And we're going to just start out here. That's interesting energy. This is the position of where you're at in terms of uh, love for this animal, um, your pet here that you're thinking of, and your relationship to, to your pet. I, I tend to read this first as kind of a baseline energy of kind of where you are in terms of um, pets and how how you feel in love. <clears throat> but if I could say, uh, I find that people's, the way people react to pets is kind of different than people. Like you, we'll, we'll find ourselves, it seems to me, uh, reacting in different ways. There'll be some consistency with uh, lovers and pet, you know, but I seem with pets, like we tend to have a way of acting with our pets. Isn't that interesting? Um, that's interesting that it's your energy. I, the only way I could possibly read this is uh, you left, I hate to go here and bring in like an ex, but because I'm just thinking you left a pet behind. Well, you may have had to move uh, a long distance and couldn't take the pet or overseas or or else you left the pet like with the spouse. You know, I did this. It was, um, yeah, so not only you lose your spouse, but pets who, the, all the pets uh, I've had for many years, but uh, it's a good thing. I've been unstable ever since then. Sagittarius learning a lot, but not, you know, be hard to haul four dogs. So maybe I can understand that there, guys. Um, but you're moving into the reading. So I see you. Um, um, well, let's see. Uh, how this one you're thinking of. We don't really do reversals for a couple reasons. But the world card comes up. Uh, this is the pet that you love. This is the position of them um, representing them. You know, typically I'm looking at the first house and the seventh house here because uh, that's where we look for the other, and I'm doing that relationship reading with this uh, um, spread, the little shape of heart. Um, but here it really would apply astrologically more to the sixth house where we see energy of the pet, you know. Um, so I'm listening to my mind, trying to see what I'm getting here. So you're moving towards an animal, which you see as kind of being your world. And I guess you could be with the animal uh, right now. Um, if not, then uh, this would be predictive. And I would think soon, like, I mean, it's almost like this is the energy I'm seeing of like you're traveling and this, I don't know, this is odd to me, but like you're traveling to be with an animal and I don't know why that seems odd, you know, it's not like you travel to go visit your family, so you're, 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 but you're like, this is not like going for a visit, you're like moving, up and moving, and it's kind of really about an animal, so that's what I'm getting, guys, and, um, wow, this is the Hermit cards, Virgo represents literally, um, Funny, I just said the sixth house because Virgo rules the sixth house, okay? In uh, um, uh, mutable earth. So the hermit shines a light. <clears throat> the hermit is also facing into the reading. And the sh uh, hermit normally 
shines its uh, his light her light you know on it, itself you know that's the beauty of the hermit the strength of it this major arcana that it uh, is that part of you that doesn't point the fingers at other people i see all of this moving uh, into the reading you know uh swords or thoughts your, even your thoughts are moving into the re, uh, reading towards something that you see as the world, you know. With the hermit energy, you may have spent some time separated, uh, feeling isolated, but I get the feeling like you used this time wisely um, to kind of get in touch with yourself. I mean, while you're watching tarot, I mean, you know, your spiritual journey, or um, you did the right thing. The, the, the hermit only seeks to know themselves completely, everything. So it's the shadow work, because we all got shadow work, so you know yourself, then you do that too, amongst other things. Now, this is how your pet is reacting to you. Queen of Cups energy. Um, if you know the birth time of your pet, I mean, they could literally be a water sign. I would most likely here think uh, Capricorn with the Queen of Cups, and I mean Cancer with the Queen of Cups. I'm sorry, the opposite. So, uh, so an animal that was born in a, a dead summer, you know, uh, cancer uh, represents uh, high cotton, represents uh, uh, the fish are jumping. I'm thinking of Janice uh, Joplin now song, because uh, in my head, um, uh, summertime, the living is easy. Everything is growing, everything is lush, you know. It's the sun is shining, it's the warmest time of the year, the northern hemisphere. Um, so you, you know, saying all that, so you might remember if, if you recall when the animal was born. Um, but this would represent an animal that is exceptionally loving and sweet. And I just say, like sometimes this doesn't necessarily mean this animal wouldn't also then be like maybe protective or even potentially, you know, aggressive. Doesn't make them submissive. But with you, all I know. And, you know, maybe with other people, family, I don't know. But with you, um, very, very loving, like in your lap. Like if it's a big uh, dog, you know, but I imagine you tolerate it. But it, it wants to be near you and with you and maybe on you. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> now, this Knight of Cups is moving into the reading, I see. It's coming underneath the Hermit. So... Everything's moving. Everything's moving. Yeah, look at all three of these. Everything's moving towards this uh, new. This is your mind moving. Uh, you're really looking inside. Now with the Knight of Cups, this is action and this is feelings. Now uh, sometimes I like to use the phrase, you know, drop your feelings into it. Well, you, this is a, uh, advice from spirit now for you uh, to best. Uh, uh, be in relationship with your other here now your pet and it's they, to take them forcefully your cup of love you know um, that's what it's like a mission now you know uh, it, the six of swords can be uh, disheveled flight uh, the dark of night just kind of getting away escaping it's uh, not it may not even be as dignified as this looks you know kind of the energy of it can be um, if it's something physical and you know you're being the hermit mode for a while thinking about that and really so I gotta say with the knight of cups coming under the hermit it applies to you being the hermit the hermit is alone the hermit is in their cave but the hermit is a spiritual creature always looking inside for more and more wisdom more and more insight there's also an element here in this moving forward of you need to move now, at least move in terms of your heart and your love, you know, and take maybe take an action in love. That's what the knights are. Knights are Mars. I do read the bottom of the deck around circles, the three of pentacles coming up. That's the good worker card, a cooperation card. Emphasis on cooperation. Maybe you had somebody watching a pet. Maybe you were watching a pet. Mm. Wow. So if this is a. If normally this is how does your person think about you in terms of your relationship here? It's what this will literally read. But here, you know, 
This is the building of a long-term committed relationship because it's you know, one's actions or marriage, the building of marriage. Um, and this is advice uh, from spirit. And it's here as if it's receiving this knight of cups. I, I, I this is kind of weird, but um, um, it's uh, feels like a, a marriage, you know, your relationship with your pet. I mean, maybe, maybe sometime, maybe you laugh or think back. It's like I have a better relationship with you, uh, my world. <laughs> Uh, than I've had with um, people in the past. You know, maybe you kind of left everybody and maybe you're still in this hermit mode. There's also an underlying implication that, you know, could, could involve romance because sometimes this, these energies, depending on what you want, they can manifest in the outside world because that's the energy you're expressing to your pet, you know, so... You know how many times you notice when you're in a relationship that's when suddenly miraculously then people are interested in you and when you're single it's like they're wanting right yeah don't, you don't do anything different just like your energy is different so just saying uh, could be moving towards someone it'd be a heavy something heavy romantically because it'd be a marriage king of swords now normally this is the advice from spirit for the relationship the two people as a whole so this is advice from spirit uh, for you in terms of your pet. Now I have to see this more. Hmm. There may be some need to defend yourself. You know, it's, as a pet owner, I've been there. There's, you know, they're like they're really literally like children so many ways, and you have to defend them sometimes whether they really did anything to deserve defending or not. You end up having to defend them. If you travel with them, you, you might have neighbors, you could have family. Maybe that was an issue in the relationship here. And this is coming between the Knight of Cups and the Four of Wands, which is the suggestion to how to interact in this relationship, best interact. And with you, it's like emotionally, let your emotions really drop into this. Um, but here in the very crux of the heart spread, you know, it's being very assertive and certain um, and kind of in control, you know. That could be of your pet and kind of the way the relationship is. I don't even think there's anything wrong with that. That's what you're supposed to do. Have firm, you know, you're the alpha. Uh, be part of the overall relationship. It could be something like that. But I think it could involve, like, ultimately... Like I said, you having to defend somehow, um, and I don't see you having a problem doing that. You're showing this King of Swords energy. It's like if you ever ha have a voice to speak up, it's around your pet. And here's this Page of Cups. It kind of implies to me this is the outcome. Uh, this is, again, water energy. There it is. Um, this page is facing the Queen here. And you're showing up with this Queen of Cup energy, right? Um, you might have a new pet and, and, you know, maybe it's a lot like your other pet or maybe it's a, a it's from the litter, a litter from the pet you had, you know, um, that kind of thing. But this certainly implies with this being a page of cubs, um, you taking on a puppy or, uh, it could imply a new dog or a new cat or a new animal that you take, um, you know, um, that's older. Um, but for you is a new relationship. Um, and even still, if you did that, I'm sensing it really would be a younger, you know, with advice from spirit, um, it's uh, really for you to be in control. I don't want this to go the wrong way. Uh, one of the books I loved the most was The Monks of Nooski. Uh, uh, they had How to Pick Your Puppy and How to Raise Your Puppy. Uh, I had a Bernese Mountain Dog after reading that and finally moving into the house and everything when I was in my early 20s. Um, so, you know, they talk about this. Uh, so it certainly uh, doesn't involve anything uh, violent or anything. 
um, and this is being um, forceful and in control. Um, and I think once again, though, you're coming up with an animal here who's going to be a real just a sweetheart, want to be on you all the time. You know, I always wonder because I'm an astrologer, so I think about like the composite chart. If you if you happen to know your animal's chart, you might know this scenario could be uh, this is a, a puppy or uh, from the litter of a uh, mother that you had, and you might actually know the time of this animal. Could be. I know it's rare, but it's not impossible. Uh, and then run a composite chart and and see what you guys are looking like. I know the sensory seems to be fascinating too. Um, that's my herb tea. But um, um, with this energy, I'd love to see if you didn't have like a water um, energy in your ascendant. Maybe Cancer is what I'm thinking. Um, which is normally with a couple wins of Cancer ascendant. They're the ones that are always like just cuddling all the time. <laughs> you know. They're always like, you're sleeping, they're all wrapped up in each other, they're on the couch, they're all over each other, and that kind of thing, just uh, cuddling, really, it's the energy of it. Um, so, I don't know, I don't see anything really wrong here, unless, you know, maybe it was not easy moving away from this energy originally, um, to move towards this new energy, um, and, you know, I was in the Hermit for years and years, and I'm still kind of just coming out of it, starting to get the death, death card, death card more and more. And the Hermit is being reclusive, and um, it's, uh, you know, um, it can get old after a while, being alone. And so I just see some process of you going and moving and getting out. Maybe this, this pet helps you get out, literally get out, and, and kind of do things. Wow. So, thank you guys. Uh, I hope you got something out of that. Get, you know, please feel free to make a comment. If you can think of anywhere to share this, any, uh, you know, platform uh, where you think it might be helpful or appropriate, if you think it resonates in any way, please do. And uh, give me a like, thumbs up, and do subscribe, hit the bell. Uh, I have some other readings. They're mostly around love and romance. The, the Soul Family reads about spirituality more and manifestation. Personal reading. Um, and uh, let me know. Thank you, guys.